before we get into our video today, I want to talk about something. Now, I've seen on YouTube um, advertised this prime drink. And you have uh, people saying, oh, it's fantastic. And then some people are gagging when they drink it. I don't know if that's all an act. So I have one here that's ice cold. Now, just in case it goes the wrong way, I've got, I got napkins. I, I'm hoping it goes the positive way. Here goes nothing. Doesn't smell bad. Oh. oh. Yeah, that's. I don't like it. A mountain of sugar or some substitute that just bleh, stays on your tongue way too long. Yeah, I, I don't like it. Um, to each his own, though. Whew, okay, back to the video. If you're tired of carrying around two speakers and sometimes more, along with a mixing board, stands, and a pile of cords and mics every time you have a gig, that's what I used to do. And I used to want something simple and powerful enough for a room of 100 to 150 people. Today I'll be talking about the Bose L1 Compact System. Yeah, it's not the newest one, but it does the job. And you can buy one secondhand at a decent price. If you're playing to a larger crowd, you can buy two and link them together. So grab yourself a snack, something to drink, and relax. Because this is coming up next on Roy Studio Adventures. Now before we try this out, we're going to have a look at the back. You got main out, line outputs, record unbalanced. RCA jacks, your quarter inch. Now it's got a built-in mixer. You got your, the volume is here, your bass and treble. This is the mic input. And this is geared and pre-mixed for your microphone, for your vocals. Now, if you want reverb, you're gonna have to get a pedal or something like that. Now on this side, of course, again, there's the volume. And if you want to plug in a some kind of uh, entertainment in your iPod or whatever device line out goes into here, you can also uh, do the same with the RCA jacks, your quarter inch input. Now, if you're going to use this for guitar, you push this up, and it's it's preset for a guitar, you know, acoustic, uh, electric. Now, if you're going to use it for other things. Then you want to turn that off. Then you'll have a regular input jack. So that, that's the that's the top. Now I'm going to show you the front. Now this is the front of the Bose. Now I want to show you. It's very easy. You just pull this out. It also it slides in very easy. So if you just want to use it, like I'm using it here in the studio, I can plug my guitar, my acoustic in, uh, jam some tunes. But if I want to play out, you have, this will stack onto two more pieces, which will put it about, I think in total height, about seven feet in the air. Now in here, you have six speakers. I don't know if you can see it here. But there's six speakers and the nice thing about this is you got 180 degrees going this way and this way so when you're playing beside this you can hear the same sound as they're hearing at the front it makes it more versatile because now you don't really need a monitor you just plug your guitar in your your mic and go it's very light. Even if you leave the tweeters in, very light and portable. Now you've got these two here. They also s snap right into place. If you're not familiar with this system, you got this. Slides into there. Now, my ceiling's too low, so I can't set up the whole thing. But I will set up 
I'll show you the setup with one of them. If you get the chance, please visit Roy's Studio Adventures merch store. There's a link in the description below, and there you can get all kinds of stuff. Hats, mouse pads, t-shirts, and the list goes on. All I have to do is take this out, and then I plug it into here, like so. Nice and easy. Okay, so now we just take the, the whole thing and we slide it right in there, like that. Okay, so I got the mic plugged, with no effects, of course right into the Bose L1 and I have my Fender Stratocaster plugged into the guitar side and I'm going to go over a little song called Some People which is an original song so there won't be any copyright strikes and uh, let you hear how this sounds <laughs> is real that they watch on TV. Some people are not what they see. They'll tell you that they know you, but they don't know what you mean. Now we're going to play some music through it. Turn the volume down a little bit. Pick me up and take me to the sun. Somewhere warm under an island tree. Sipping my readers by the shore. So that was another original, Take Me to the Sun. And uh, that's it for our review and uh, tryout of the Bose L1. If you can find one, even to have as an extra spare. It sounds incredible outside, indoors. Like I said, it's very light. You can't go wrong. Very easy to use. Now, you can't use a condenser mic in here. It won't work. I tried it. Uh, maybe if you had some kind of uh, power unit to her or a cloud lifter, maybe you could try that. I didn't have one on hand. But uh, a regular, I was using an SM58. And of course my guitar, but you can put an acoustic in there. Now when I played the music on it, so I made sure that the guitar line was turned off hope you can see this was set to off when using an acoustic or electric and slip it up I don't you might be able to use a bass on here I don't know I, I don't know I, I haven't read the manual yet because I've only had this a couple of days uh, if you know leave it in the comments below if you can put a bass in here uh, you wouldn't want to ruin those the little speakers in the the tower part here yeah it's got tons of power uh, I've yet to use it on a job, but I can't wait to. Other people said they uh, had had no problems. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, if you you buy two of them, which secondhand would probably be a lot cheaper than new, you can run them together. I'm not sure how you can sync them together. So that's something we might have to Google, or if I buy a second one, I'll make another video um, so we can find that question out. And if you know, again, leave it in the comments below how you can sync these together. Okay, that's it for the review of the Bose L1 all-in-one compact PA. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any other ideas that you can use this system for, please leave it in the comments below and share it with us. Remember, take your kids to and see a local band. Be good to each other, share your knowledge, and until next time...